when you've saved um, a Captivate project as you're going along, um, when you're actually finished working on it and it's complete as a project, you have to publish it to make the resource all come together. So all the different elements, like all the different slides, will be together in like a, a unified thing. So um, when you go to, to do this, you go to File, and then scroll down to the different publish um, uh, tabs. So um, a good thing to do is just check publish sentence first and then um, go straight to project and then project information. So you can see there it's quite like vague. So um, I'm just going to change them. So, um, you know, we could put the library website or something in there, but you can put your name if you want in there. I'm just going to put stuff. And then, like when it was made, if you if you want it to be a copyright thing, but you know you you don't have to, and you can put a few more a bits of metadata to tag to the file here. So created for staff development, whatever it is that you want to put in there. Um, we'll just check down. Um, so when you publish a file in um, Captivate, if it's a um, you if it's just a video then it's fine to just put it onto YouTube because it won't be interactive, you'll just be showing people things. So you can use Captivate to f just film, record the screen and that's all. If what we've done, you've created a resource which has different um, you know, actions in, like the rollover caption and then the move to the next slide, because videos aren't interactive in the same way, you have to save it as something called an SWF or SWIF file. So um, that's that's why you need to check this kind of stuff. So we'll just leave we'll just leave this. We don't have a preloader like a file to stick on the front. So I'll uncheck that, and then just um, make sure that um, that's that's all okay. So the point of um, checking these settings as well is that here you can get the um, resource you've created to loop. So if you were creating something for um, a, a flat screen or something or just that you just wanted to go on and on and on like a video you would choose loop but um, or you can even choose that um, when it opens it opens onto a URL so it would open discover after you've done your tutorial oh my gosh ignore that <laughs> but we're just gonna have it um, stop project so we just want it to stop um, okay so now what I'm going to get it to do is um, publish the file. So click on publish, go to file and then click on publish. And then these are the different types of file that you can have. So we don't want to just do um, a, a video file because we have interactive content. So click flash SWF Swift and then you have a chance to rename it. I'm going to keep it the same name as I've been working with. And then um, it, it tells you, just choose as a folder. So um, I'm just going to choose the folder that I've been working on. So it was on my desktop. And then it was um, in, is it Rachel? Yeah, that's Rachel one. finished tutorial. Okay, so um, right, so keep this done and th this option here, export PDF, is that it creates uh, various PDF files that go along with the interactive resource. So um, you can choose that if you want or you can just leave it. Um, so then I'm going to do uh, publish. So it's just compressing the file. And then now I can have a chance to view the output. So I'm just going to click yes and see what it looks like. So it's done my um, thing there. That's how it, uh, it's going to play. I'll just skip through. So there was my thing, and there was my thing.
and it, can you see that it's paused the time now so nothing's sort of moving on until I can hover over there and then I can press click to continue and it moves on the presentation so um, that's how you save and preview the file if you don't preview it um, straight away like this um, if you miss a chance you can just navigate to the file where you were so um, I saved it in Rachel and um, Captivate Files for Tutorial didn't I and there's finished tutorial and then it would just you can just open it up straight from there or you can um, open it up as this PDF place but um, it you know it'll let you it lets you do it so it's just warning you that it's got various different interactive things so there you go it's just a good have to pause it pause so that's just the same thing but um, you know a, a separate file so the thing to do with this file is you could upload it to um, your subject page or something like that so that people could learn from it that way or click forward or you could even send this in, e in an email form to a student if you wanted to. So that's saving as a Swift file if you want to save the whole resource. That's um, how you do it. Um, if you have just made a non-interactive um, resource using Captivate, um, that is that if you don't want students or whoever to click on things to progress um, and it's just a video you can um, upload it to YouTube so um, just to, to share it so um, if you want to do that you can do it directly from within Captivate I mean alternatively you can save the file and um, by going to um, publish saving it as a um, MPEG4 in the options just quickly show you so media and then just mp4 video saving it um, on your um, uh, computer somewhere and then uploading it within um, YouTube but you don't have to do that if you don't want to so you could log into YouTube and then upload it you can just publish straight from within the um, software so if you click on publish to YouTube it just um, lets you do it straight straight from here so um, I'll just um, put my login in So there you go, it's connected it straight to YouTube. So you can um, keep the title the same or just change it. Add a little description. So um, a demo of and then tags so that people on YouTube will be able to find the resource better. So um, I'll just put a few in there, US Library. Um, public and then add the conditions and then just upload so um, it just takes a, a short while to um, generate the video for you so um, it depends um, in the settings how high you selected uh, you wanted the file to be so um, that's dependent on how long it takes for it to create a video for you of the um, project It's also um, a point to note that if you're doing it this way, directly through Captivate, you have to be working on a computer that has um, connected to the internet, like via Wi-Fi or something like that, and then you can just upload it straight away. So now it's just uploading it directly to the YouTube account that I specified. So it just takes a few minutes to do it.
and um, it says that it's uploaded it successfully but it might take a little while to process it so you can like copy the link now to check if you want to um, but we just go straight we'll just go straight to YouTube to see what it looks like so you can see there that it's currently being processed but we just refresh to see if it's there yet no nope. So you can see all it's done is picked up that slide that I highlighted because that was the video content. So let's just move that forward a little. Oh, I'm slow in the connection. I'll just leave it. <laughs> but um, that's how you do it directly from um, within Captivate. If you um, upload um, an interactive project um, that you've created in Captivate just directly to YouTube, um, then this is what it will look like. So irrespective of whether you've done it from within the project, so doing it direct to YouTube or whether you've saved the project and then gone into your YouTube account and uploaded it that way this is what it would look like so this is what we've created and you can see there's the blank slide at first then there was the content with my voice I'll mute myself so you can where we demonstrated the library catalog this is what it would look like Um, I'll just skip forward to the interactive bit that we made So you can see that was when we did the um, insert in a PowerPoint slide. And I'll just pause it now because this was our interactive slide. So I'll just play it and you can see that this will appear and disappear. This will appear, but our interactive content is not present. So um, and so you it will just stop after a while. You can't, it doesn't hold it, that button, and it'll just move on. But it doesn't mean that you can't have just a video it's just that you'll have to think about just having caption boxes that sort of appear to highlight the various parts of the resource um, um, when you're creating your project that's just something to think about you can just make a straight video but um, you just have to consider the fact that if you are wanting to just upload it to YouTube and um, that people won't be able to click on and interact in that way so um, that's just highlighting the difference between saving something as a Swift file and uploading something to YouTube if just it's just a video.